Hello, and welcome to another episode of Put It On. As you can see, I have two chairs, two mics with me here today. That is because I have my first ever guest, good friend of mine, Josh Wright. Josh, why don't you come on out here? Welcome. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Great. Yeah? Thank you for being here. Of course. Taking the drinks of the water. Slightly nervous, slightly excited, but... Uh... A little bit of nerves. Mm-hmm. First podcast. Is this your first ever podcast It is. Here? It is. First ever podcast appearance. You know what? I'm glad that it's here with me. Me too. Okay. All right. So we have a few good topics for you here today. Um, but let's just start off with a little uh, q and R, I I guess. A few little little questions, if you may. So uh, how'd you do? What have you been up to? What have you been up to lately? Just, just working, man. Working? A lot at, of work. At? Ice cream place. Ice cream place. Scoop House, mm-hmm. the local... The local business. Shout out Scoop House. Shout out. <laughs> Gotta love them. Best friend's mom owns it, so, you know, it's great. Of course. That's good. That's a good way to get a job. Um, so how do you uh, how do you like working instead of being in school and stuff? Uh, it sucks, man. Sucks? Not a, not a fan of it. Not a fan. Okay. I feel old. Feel old. Okay, well, everybody's feeling old, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, what, so kids your age are... Getting out of college or last, last year? Last year, okay. So. Yeah. All right, so they'll all be out and working with you, and then there will be. See what I'm doing. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll be in L.A. Maybe. That's the goal. Okay, L.A. is a great spot. Uh, that's the dream. I'd say that's the dream for anybody. I'd say so. Mm-hmm. I actually was thinking about that this week. Was uh, the difference in lifestyles of just like, because like especially on the highway, me like commuting to school or to work or whatever. Uh, I'm just like constantly, you know, going fast in the left lane, 80. And I'm wondering like in LA, if they have those drivers or if I would just be like so upset at all the LA drivers the, and stuff. The highways there? Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. I've you ever seen videos of it? No. It's I just, mean, it's just moves. dead. Dead? It's just, the, you could get out and walk. Bumper to bumper? Bumper to bumper. Brutal. Pacific Highway. Yeah. I would, I would lose my. Absolutely lose my mind. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, have you been to L.A. before? I have not. You've never been to L.A.? No. Me neither. I want to get out there. Where have you been? <sighs> outside of, have you been, you know, inside or outside of the United States? I have. I've been, I went to, uh, Punta Cana, my senior year of high school. That was great. Um, I went to Aruba. Aruba, Aruba was, that was great. The water there is crazy. Aruba, Jamaica. Every time that song pops. Every up time, <laughs> I've been to I've been to a lot of states. I guess Florida. Mm. Word. I used to live in Florida for three years. My fam. That's where my family's from. Oh, word. word. My fi- Florida and California. So we're disgusting Florida people. That's what we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're what all the uh, memes are about. Oh yeah, Florida man. <laughs> Florida man is a. I guess I'm a Florida man now. Have you ever looked up? Uh, you can look up your birthday and what associates. It's Florida man. Oh, well, like what does happened something on, on your, your birthday? birthday? Oh, I should look that up. That's actually that's a good one. I I'm curious. Yeah, you have me very curious. <laughs> Do you know what happens on your birthday? I died not by heart. Not by it was, heart. It was it was it was something classic Florida. Probably something super weird. Well, I was born in February, and so it might have been Florida. Does get a little chilly. What sign are you? What si- uh, Aquarius? Dude, Aquarius. Yeah, gotta know the signs. I you was know? I was talking about that last night with someone. Mm-hmm. Someone uh, he he comes out and he's like oh you're a capricorn someone and i was like how do you how do you know the signs and he's like oh my girlfriend's into that stuff i was like that's oh did you say like your 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 age or your your it was he was talking to some other kid and the and he asked when his birthday was and the kid said it he's like oh so you're capricorn and i was i was kind of taken back by it a little bit that is yeah that is did you not know you were capricorn or you did well it wasn't me i'm a gemini Oh, okay. You're a Gemini. Yeah, I'm a, I'm oh, a, I'm okay. a June You're baby. A I'm a Gemini. Okay. <laughs> We're bipolar. Know the, I know, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what they not, say. That's not too good. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know really what Aquarius is. I, I think in high school I was like reading up on it every day and I was like, why am I using this app to tell me how my day is going to be? <laughs> the horoscopes? Yeah, maybe I should just live I my went, life. I went through a little phase where I would like look at them, mm-hmm. like when I was like having a bad day. And I'm like, maybe it's going to tell me it's going to, you know, lift mm-hmm. up a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, yeah, I got over that pretty quickly. Yeah, it's usually just like, yeah, you were supposed to have a terrible it's, day. Today. It's very vague. <laughs> it's so like vague. It, they keep it so vague so that like there's you, you don't know. Like it's mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, yeah, this could happen. Mm-hmm. It's like you're you're gonna meet someone today that's gonna open your mind up to a topic. Oh. And it's like a topic. Okay, so so I'm gonna meet mm-hmm. someone and I'm gonna have a conversation mm-hmm. with them. Is what you're telling me. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, not to, you know, we don't want to be shitting all over people's, uh, I guess, the religion type thing. I don't know what belief. So I don't want to, but honestly, it makes no sense to me and I, I can't. Is it religion, though? I don't know if it's a re- I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't classify it as religion, but. I mean, I was, I mean, we're both Christians, so it's, mm-hmm. you look at that as a religion. I've that never looked at. definitely religion. I've never looked at being a Gemini. I'm, I would never. No, follow that no like that you like, would follow yeah. the lord yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're following the stars follow, i think that's what it comes down to so maybe it's i don't know i don't really i don't know i'm sure google google could tell us but we're not gonna we're gonna go ahead and just swerve this topic because i guarantee some people will be upset yeah it's all right it's all right um so uh you met some sort of giants player last night we were we were just talking about this before the camera came i on, did but... i did i met colin jenkins he was a defensive tackle for a few years, played for the Packers, and then he came over to the Giants, and I think after that, called it a career. Mm-hmm. And then came over to New Jersey. So he's just living in New Jersey now. Second time I met him, I met him at a bowling alley, and last night I was out, I was at the bar, and someone goes, Colin Jenkins is here. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, it slipped my mind that I had met him before. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, okay. Until, <laughs> until I left, and everyone's around him talking to him at this point, and like a crowd of people? Just a bunch of kids. A bunch of kids. It's funny because okay. this guy's huge. You got all these like... Mm-hmm. He's a human refrigerator. All these guys who look just like me sitting there <laughs> looking up at the guy talking to him. And I'm like, oh. I was like, I have a picture with this guy from last time when I met him. Oh, so, wow. So I go back over. I'm like, hate to be that guy. Hate to be that guy. But I met you before. And he, and he pulled something pretty, pretty serious. He goes, must have been before the divorce. Oh my god! Why would he drop that on like a on a stranger? I was like, yeah, man. As his girl, his girlfriend's sitting right there. What? So I'm like, uh, all right, yeah. I'm like, let me buy you a beer, man. <laughs> so Did I, you actually buy him a beer? I bought him a beer. He should be buying you a beer with his millions. You think? You think so? Mm-hmm. But uh, I I felt I was feeling good, feeling mm-hmm. nice. I go, what are, what are you drinking? He goes, ah, uh, they just been handing me Miller. So I was like, all right, Miller's good. I'll get you a Miller. Miller's good. And then <laughs> he's drinking the beer, and then kids, the kids are, he, he buys a bunch of us shots. So we all take shots with this guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is a, he's, he's a classy guy. He's a good guy. That's good. That's good that he's, you know, he's nice. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't recognize that man. People would be like, that's a giant. And I'd be like, Oh, okay. I don't know him. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, if no one would have said Colin Jenkins was there, mm-hmm. and I went looking, I went looking for him. I'm uh, not. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. No, I got least, up. At least you're being honest. Got up from my chair, walked across, mm-hmm. saw the one tall refrigerator man sitting there. I'm like, yeah, it's him. I don't <laughs> think I would have necessarily put two and two together if I didn't know Colin Jenkins was at the bar. Yeah, yeah, and it's so a, it's a pretty tough thing to. Uh put together i guess yeah i mean hey at least you're being honest which is what, what we're all about it's, here i guess it's all about that i'm put it on <laughs> I'm put it on uh i love that that name that i chose uh because it's named after um that song by big l put it is on, it big l, put that's it who you on. did yeah i guess like well i just heard that song i was like that would be a cool podcast name but the goal is to out google that song because when you google put it on that song comes up. It's the first thing so, every time. So we're so, trying to top that. So that's we're trying to get the, on. That's the goal. Big L has been at the top of the charts for far too long. You want you want this chair. It's sitting yeah, on the top. It's yeah. This is the throne and it belongs on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, back to what we were saying because uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about contracts, uh, sports contracts because I was watching the Yankees game, uh, last night and uh, they said that they got this this player. At a steal, the announcers were like, oh, they, they stole him at $24 million. <coughs> and I was just like, "Like that's more money than any normal person will make in their entire life. Not just like in a certain amount of time, just in their life, like they will not acquire $24 million. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The, the amount of money these guys are getting paid is, is out of control. 
I mean, these these leagues have so much money, just to just to spend. It's it's insane, and I feel like the MLB specifically. I spent yeah. Like I don't know what 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 NBA and like NHL contracts are there out there that's just like. I'm trying to think of of some like what is like you know an average NBA player make. I feel like it's like not. 24 million or it's probably over i don't know I'm, the thing is too their their contracts are a lot longer in the mlb that is true because they don't i mean they don't worry about injuries and stuff as mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. so they have like they're getting like eight year contracts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, and then you have the nfl and they're getting four or five years mm-hmm. so they also have their own broadcasting well at least i know the yankees like they have their own broadcasting station for tv for radio so like Every single profit goes to them. It's not like yep. the MLB is broadcasting it for them or whatnot. Which, yeah. Uh, I'm not totally sure on all these facts. But, <laughs> but yeah, so... We'll pretend so, we are. Yeah, so then uh, we were saying this that guy, uh, Colton? Colton? Colton. Colton Jenkins. With a T? With uh, two L's. Colon. Colon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's so, okay. My mom answered my... Uh, I put up an Instagram story of him. <laughs> And my mom answers it this morning, and she goes, "Is that is that Colin Jenkins?" Colin. And I'm like, I all I say is colon. <laughs> it's a semicolon. <laughs> it's a colon. It's like semicolon, but without the semi. All right. All but right. Uh, I was yeah. So I was curious because I was thinking this guy's just at a local watering hole. Mm-hmm. If if I played in the NFL, I'd be like in the city mm-hmm. living it up or something. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I wonder how much this guy made in the league because I know he he was undrafted. So he got picked up by the Packers. Oh, he was undrafted. He was undrafted. Mm. So he made a decent amount on the Packers. He kind of proved himself there. I believe I believe he won a ring there. On the Packers? Or uh, with the Giants? Not with the Giants. Not with the Giants. He he has some kind of ring. Some One sort of, of the kids was talking <laughs> about it last night. Okay, all right. So he, uh, but he made his real money on the Giants, I think. So he ended up making in his career... I think thirty six million. Oh, wow. So that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. So I mean, maybe he's just smart with it. Yeah, I mean, New Jersey is an expensive place to live in. Yeah, it is. I don't know what what kind of house he's got or whatever. I don't know how old. How many years do we think he's out of the league? It's got to be four. Four years. Oh, okay. So he was in the league. Not too long ago. Not too long ago. Okay. No. I was thinking this was like a long time retired. Okay, so so he may have just not spent all of his money yet. Well, it's. Yeah, I mean, you gotta maybe. <laughs> I hear maybe, stories all the time of of uh, like these professional athletes just going broke. Like they go, yeah, which it, makes it no happens sense. a lot. It makes zero sense because they don't think the money's gonna run out. Silly, silly. But hopefully, through you know, if they watch this podcast, they'll know. To spend your money. <laughs> there you go. Spend your money wisely, <laughs> NFL players. Yeah, come on, come on, get with it. Get with it. Uh, anything else on the uh, Colin Jenkins? What else? What else did you do last night other than? How long did you hang with him? I was talking to him for probably a good 20 minutes. A good 20 minutes? Good 20 minute conversation talking just about the, like, the Giants. And there was tons of people around you or no? It was uh, at this like, point, it was just me. Wow. It was before everyone else wow. came over. So and It's like it's like uh, you can say that you're, you're good friends with him. I, I'd, con- <laughs> I'd consider us friends at this point. I think <laughs> I think we... I should have got his number, honestly. We should have hit the bar <laughs> tonight. Not, honestly, like, yeah. I but he, uh, him or something, but, you know, I was talking to him about the Giants mm-hmm. and I asked him why did he choose to come here? And he said, yeah, I could have went to a few teams. Mm-hmm. And he said, this is the one I felt I had the best chance of winning on. And he's like, and I didn't win. So <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, brutal. I would have loved to go to Miami. He's mm-hmm. like, they offered me a contract. He's like, I love Miami. Yeah, you love the area, but dear Lord, that team. But that team is a mess, <laughs> and it's since, been a mess. Ever since Dan Marino, you know, <laughs> it's just not been doing too well. That's a, that's, and that's the extent I know about the Dolphins. That's it. <laughs> but be, uh, before that, I went. I was at Sogo, hibachi place. Oh, nice. So I went there, and I did the hibachi dinner. I saw, like, some weird construction trucks out there. Something recently, did an explosion happen or something? Or? I have no idea. Okay. It seems, seems intact. <laughs> it seems, all right. Seems For what I saw. It's a nice about Well, was this an occasion or? Uh, no, I just figured I'd, you know, a few spend, friends home from spend, college. Spend the Friday night outright, you know? So, I go there. First off, you know how they, they bring over the, they have the sake? Oh, And they, yeah. they pour it in your mouth? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. No one, uh, anyone, everyone I'm with, no one wants to do it. And I'm like, is that's... Is it alcoholic? Yeah. Yeah, it is, right? That's yeah, it's sake. Yeah. 
So, so I, I, of course I go for it, mm-hmm. but they don't stop. Oh no. They're just like, they keep, they're there to make a fool. I'm making a mess out of myself. <laughs> I got sake pouring down my oh, shirt. I'm like, I'm like, all right, all right, man. All right. Enough. <laughs> and then they do the thing where they, they flip the, the oh, vegetable. Yeah. What is it? A zucchini. A zucchini. Yeah, yeah. No one wants to do that either. Dude, what is good with these people that you're with? Embrace I'm like, the culture. I was like, I'm, I'm going to get up and leave and go sit somewhere else. Yeah, that's, that's, those are the two best parts of going to Hibachi. For Hibachi. That and the volcano. The volcano. I was just about to say that's the volcano. the three best things but about it. so much pressure with that zucchini piece. I'm like, I better catch this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got it first try. Oh, well done. Only well done. one at the table. Well, wow. Well, because everybody else opted out or did a few? There was others there. there. Okay. There was so other. You had the split table. We had the split table. Like awkwardly with another. <laughs> it, it seemed like there was like a kid there with his family on like mm. a first date with oh. a with a girl, high school. With his family on the first date. I think uh, maybe not their first date, but like kind of like a meet the family thing going on. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. So it was interesting. Nice spot to meet the family. But I'm gonna be honest, no one caught it first try. I felt pretty proud of myself. You, you should, you know, you're an athlete. <laughs> of, of sorts, I <laughs> guess, right? Give this this boy a contract. I'm sure there's some weird like like weird sports channel. You know, what was that from Dodgeball? That movie Dodgeball. They had oh, uh, ESPN like Eight Day Ocho or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They now have like a real channel like that where people are playing super strange sports like ping pong, but with your head and a volleyball. Like where your head's the paddle, and really? Instead of a ping pong ball, it's a volleyball, and they're just like, they're like over the table, just like, like spiking it. It's actually it's it's hilarious to be honest. But sounds like sounds like a lot of a lot of head damage by the end of the career. For sure, definitely concussions. <laughs> but I'm sure they have a zucchini a zucchini mouth catching. <laughs> I'm sure that's there's a national championship. You know, get on it. Just you see me, you see me on there in like yeah. three years when I just have nothing going for me. <laughs> I signed a, I signed a huge contract. Like light. <laughs> You're like, this way, boys. I, I like win the game and shotgun a beer. <laughs> that's 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 the the culture I'd expect out of uh, out of that area. Or like I have a squirt bottle full of sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would that would be pretty good. Oh man. <laughs> um. Uh, so we we talked about the the contracts a little bit. Yeah, it is ridiculous what they're getting paid out there. But I guess like you know, if a lot of people are viewing it, they yeah. deserve those those contracts. I just think it's it's kind of ridiculous to to watch them complain about getting a bigger contract. Oh yeah, when you're already a multimillionaire. Yeah, they're they're like holding out for a new contract. I'm like, dude, you're making too much money. But yeah. for NFL, I understand it. I understand it for the NFL. They're being like concussed till They're putting <laughs> they're putting their bodies on the line mm-hmm. every single yeah. time they go out yeah. there. But like MLB, it's like what you're going to get like maybe a shoulder strain or something. I if mean, you're a pitcher, still a chance to get a concussion, <laughs> but really, you know, minuscule. Uh And they're getting paid the most. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, that is rather strange. And who I mean, I I don't know about you, but I I can't sit there and do a whole game of baseball. It's pretty well in these playoff because it's in playoffs. I I'll watch any sport in playoffs. In playoffs, but, yeah. Regular season, you're just like, this game doesn't really matter. They're too long. Much. Yeah, they're they're so long. But it is cool because baseball is like I used to hate baseball, and now I just started getting into it. But it's cool because there's like a, it's kind of like a chess match type thing with like the pitcher and the batter. Like yeah. You gotta, it's interesting, but I agree. Like they're super boring. A lot of standing around. A lot of. But that's why I give credit to the, the baseball announcers. That's true. Because they can just, like, talk forever. Yeah, they can go on and on. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> See, I, I need, like, action. So I'm a, hu- I'm a huge football fan. Mm-hmm. Like, all, I need to constantly be seeing something. Mm-hmm. So like, I can't really sit through baseball. Yeah, yeah, baseball's rough. Um, I like NBA, too. But that's I like the like, NBA. Like, there's drama around that. Like, it's a huge, like... Like, did you hear what this person said? You know, like, oh, this person said this right back at you. It's, it's like a huge, like, kind of high school drama, like cafeteria yeah. drama. No, definitely. On. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and and switch up this topic. Uh, there was a trending thing on on Twitter this week, and it was delete hashtag delete Facebook. So I guess like older people on Twitter finally realized that like Facebook is useless. Is Facebook canceled? Is that what we're hearing? I mean, I don't think it's it's canceled, but just like a lot of people were like, oh, like I don't support the CEO, like because Mark Zuckerberg's kind of like a terrible person, I guess. And 
uh, you know, data mining and all that. But yeah, everybody's like, delete Facebook. And I'm like, well, then you have to delete Instagram too because Facebook. It, it <laughs> is. <laughs> they own yeah, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, and you're not going to delete <laughs> Instagram. Because you don't want Instagram gone. That's the best one by far. Uh, but yeah, no. So, I mean, I don't use Facebook. I don't know. if. Nope. Yeah, no. It'll I'll, it'll happen like I'll go on it on accident mm-hmm. and I'll see I have a bunch of notifications. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, okay, I'll, I'll, so I, I'll look through here. So I click on it and it's all just like my family. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I don't need to see what my family's doing every day. No, I'm with my family every day, so you know. My mom my mom loves Facebook. Mm-hmm. We went yeah. we went pumpkin picking the other day. Mm-hmm. And she's I I go on the same day mm-hmm. and she's got just pictures of me standing in the field. <laughs> I just, there's no point of taking these pictures. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I do like the social media aspect of like being able to document your, like it's all in one place. Cause like people used to have to take photos, print them out and keep like a shoe box full of photos. Yeah. But now we just like, but also like so many pictures I regret posting from like middle school. Big time. Up, up. But I'm not going to delete them. Cause when I have kids, I can be like, this is what I used to look like. And this is what I used to do. And I think, like, I think that part of it's. A very cool thing. Mm-hmm. Like we'll get older and we'll be able to see all of this still. Mm-hmm, Maybe sure. unless there's a new app around. Yeah, they might. I'm thinking that there's gonna be a new app that comes out that just has everything in one. In one. It's just like why has someone not done that yet? I, I was thinking that today, and I was like, maybe I should get on this. We should cut that out. We should. We should definitely make a plan. I don't. Do you know how to code or anything? I took a class in high school. Uh, maybe we can get like a loan from a bank for like a quarter of a mil or something, and just like get to work on that. Because somebody needs to just, like, remake the internet and, like, all social media and just put it all in one, like, place. It's a genius like, idea. Imagine the money oh, made genius. off of, of an app that has everything Bill in Gates one. Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg in, combined. in one. But, like, you'd have to do it. I don't know. I would have some moral obligation to, like, not do all this, like, advertisements and everything. Even though you make a lot of money from that. But you're making bank from just having only users. Yeah. Like, before advertisements were a thing. But... I would have, like, a moral dilemma with, like, data mining and stuff, but then, like, they'd hit me with that, like, $28 million check, and I'd be like, okay, mine that data. <laughs> I mean, who, people don't care. Do we know who owns Twitter? I look, because I thought Facebook owned Twitter, but they don't. It's not, right? I think, yeah, Twitter owns Twitter, I think. It's, it's just it's Twitter. Own, yeah, I think, which is pretty boss. Twitter's kind of on the come up again. Yeah, and they it's, fell it's off. Like, it's it fell off, and now it's made a huge comeback, and it's just the most savage place. It's out great. Of any social media, there's so many opinions being. It's no like, filter. Oh my gosh, it's like yeah, and but I would also say it's super liberal, which I hate talking about politics on here, but yeah, it's it's like I don't know. There's a lot. I guess it's super. What's the opposite of liberal? Republican, Republican. but what, what's uh, it's, uh, conservative? Conservative. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> we know a lot. We love politics. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's still, yeah, I just see so many just opinions, just like, but I guess, like, that's what this podcast is, so, whatever. I guess that's the world we're living in. You can't beat them, join them? Nah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't, it's hard to say anything in the world today, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you might as well speak your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that is true, yeah. I mean, people were speaking their mind previously, they just didn't have the opportunity to speak it to the entire world. Yes. Over a little square. Speaking speaking of politics, did you see? Did you ever see Trump's tweet about? Uh, I think it was Turkey. About Turkey, no. So there are allies. Mm-hmm. I believe. I believe it's Turkey. <laughs> believe. He said something about <laughs> how he'll. I think he said obliterate was the oh. word he used. Oh, interesting. That's he said he'd obliterate their mm. uh, economy. Mm. And he said he's done it before. Mm. Oh. Oh. 2.0. So, I guess 2.0, 2. 2. 0, but there there are allies. Yeah, that's not... So, I'm not really sure... Uh, that's definitely not too good. He's definitely pretty rough with his Twitter. I think he's losing it a little bit. I I mean, he's been lost it. it, it yeah. But I think people were, like, kind of sick of, like, I guess... Because, all right, so, when, when that election was taking place, like, uh, everybody was like, there's no way he's getting elected, and then I feel like people were like... You, Oh, you don't think we'll elect him? <laughs> and then they were just like, we're electing him, like, in your face. And then they were kind of like, did we mean to do that? But now... I just, I remember, I remember I, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was at my sister's house, and we had it up on the screen, mm-hmm. the the polls and everything. Mm-hmm. And I remember waking up in the middle of the night, and I'm not kidding, I thought I was dreaming. Because it <laughs> Trump was Trump was winning. And I was like, mm-hmm. I'm not sure, like, I, I didn't think he would make it this far, but he did it. Mm-hmm. The guy did it. 
So you got to respect him for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy, the guy did what he said he'd do. Mm -hmm. He did say what he said he'd do. And then now I have like a teacher who's like super liberal and he's saying like, oh, like we're finally going to get rid of Trump like this, you know, in the next election. And I'm like, you're going to go with that plan again of just assuming that he won't win. Yeah. <laughs> and then people are going to be like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Two times. <laughs> four more years. Yeah. I can't believe it's already been f almost four years though. And not much has changed. Country isn't up in flames. Which is my whole deal with politics is I'm just like, what really changes? I mean, it's just the president's just the person to look at, really. Yeah, it's... You got a, a lot of a lot of gears working here. That's ultimately, and I feel a lot of our, our age group's idea is just like, there's nothing, there's no point, like, it's, nothing's changing for us until we, like, go to war. That's the only thing that would really change our lifestyles yeah. if we actually went to war and, like, had to have a draft. Which people were saying there would be a draft in like two years after Trump, but we're still good. What do you think we'd be if we got drafted? Oh, think we'd be like cooks? Uh, I would love to be a cook. I think I think we'd make good cooks. But I would. All right. So part of me would want to be in the Navy so I could see the world. But then the other part, it's like I don't want to drown. <laughs> That's tough. It's like a big fear. Yeah. It's like the worst way to go. Battleships are scary too. You ever been on one? Oh yeah. Just I slept on one one time. Battle. I feel like I feel like I went on a field trip there one time. I don't think I slept on it, but it's scary at night. Metal everywhere. It's yeah, all metal. Imagine being in the open sea in the dead yeah. of night during wartime. Yeah, could be subs, could be other cruisers out there. It's and just you're just trying to like have some shut eye. It's just red eye, red lights. That's so at ugh. night. Yeah, no, I don't. Because my grandpa that. loves all that kind of stuff, planes, mm -hmm. uh, battleships, all of it. Mm -hmm. And we slept on it one time. I I didn't sleep. I was probably like 10 years old, freaking out. Just red lights everywhere. And it's just metal. Yeah. You get like a, a little thin pad and a, and a pillow. Oh, that's brutal. It's bad. And they can only take like 10 second showers or something like that. Really? Yeah, because of water. Like you got to conserve water. So it's like but they're, uh, you quick it, jump and get, like you turn it on. It's one of those, you know, those stupid bathrooms where you have to hit it and it's only on for five seconds. Yeah. So it's that kind of shower and you have to jump and get wet and then put in soap in your hair on your body and then hit it again jump in rinse off and that's it that's your shower they it's should like, they should figure out they're on water all day so they should figure out a way to there should definitely be to kind of <laughs> there should definitely convert be the seawater mm -hmm. to showering or just shower in the seawater maybe that is yeah honestly i yeah i mean what's the worst you smell a little salty but salt water is good for you seas, baby, you it's know? good for you yeah yeah that is true that is true all right, hold on real quick. Let me check. I'm not seeing red light blink blinking on that camera. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes. Okay. And it's recording now. Was it recording? I don't know. <laughs> A little bit of a uh, technical difficulty, as is normal, until uh, we get our, our funds up. I, I say we. <laughs> it's me, but, it, you know, maybe you'll be hey, who knows? a guest, you know? You never know. Maybe I'll be here more. Yeah, yeah. It, it could possibly happen. Um, uh, I wanted to talk about the new Batman movie coming out. Yes. Mm, uh, so, Robert Pattinson is playing the new Batman, which I'm a huge Robert Pattinson fan. That is how you say his name, right? Robert Pattinson, right? Robert. Rob did, I say, did I say Robin? Did you say Robin? <laughs> is it not. Robin? It's definitely Robin. It's Robert. It's Robert for sure. I hope I didn't say Robin. But Robert Pattinson is playing Batman, which I think is going to be really cool. The guy's a heartthrob. <sighs> Those Twilight <laughs> series got me. They were... Not during when they came out, but then like after the fact, like before all that drama settled... Um, Team Jacob, Team Edward, all that. <laughs> all that beef, once it moved aside, I came in and I was like, I'm going to give these movies a shot, and I loved every single one of them, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest, when it first came out, I was I was like, I'm not watching these. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not doing it. These mm -hmm. are stupid. Mm -hmm. It's kind of in that phase where it's like, mm -hmm. nah, like, those are for girls. Yep, 100%. But yep. then you watch them, and they're not bad. They're really not. They're really not bad. <laughs> they're pretty solid films. Uh, I'm also a huge sucker for romance. 
It's 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 not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. I like the chick flicks. I'm gonna be honest. Chick flicks are good. Yeah, honestly. I watched a lot of chick flicks. Well, what's the difference between like romance and and chick flicks? Same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same, same difference. Thing. No, it's yeah. So yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of both for sure. I gotta love them. <laughs> they get you. In, uh, they get you in your bag. You just you watch them. And you're bag. like you're like kind of kind of got me in my feels here, <laughs> but I like it. Just put on Drake, you know, and just cry. <laughs> little Marvin's room. Watching those. Little Marvin's room. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just was, uh, I put, posted this on my Instagram. You might have seen it. Uh, Amazon released a new show called Modern Love. I haven't seen it. 30-minute episodes. That's going to be my show slash movie recommendation of this episode. Is so is it like a chick flick show? Pretty much. And it's phenomenal. It's all standalone romance. Um uh episodes like you know romantic stories oh, okay so love. they're all different but they were all written by like normal people and sent into the new york times and okay and this amazon adapted them to make them more like theatrical a little bit but relatively the same storyline you know same people same kind of situations um Super cool idea and a really good show. It was like five episodes, and I think I just crushed it all yesterday. <laughs> you got all, yeah. finished all of them? Yeah, that's five 30-minute episodes. Just bang them out real quick? Like running math real quick. That's like two and a half hours of... That's not bad. That's not bad. That's a Tarantino movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you have any movies you want the people to see since I just brought up movie recommendations? I have a good show that I'm, I've been watching. Okay. Give it to them. So it's, uh, it's on Hulu. Mm-hmm. I had to buy the Hulu with the no ads. I couldn't do the ads anymore. It's terrible. It's terrible. What are they doing to us? I, I don't know. It's like 120 or like 90, like minimal. It's never... It's terrible. So It's regular TV at this point. It's so, not streaming. It's just regular TV. Exactly. I so it. I was on there, and I was looking at, uh, just like browsing, mm-hmm. you know, trying to find a new show to watch. Mm-hmm. And I came across a Hulu original. It's about the Wu-Tang Clan. How was it? I've been meaning to watch it. It's awesome. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. I was good. worried they were going to botch that. To yeah. Hell. No, so it's called Wu-Tang Clan and American Saga. And every Wednesday, a new one comes out. And I guess next Wednesday is the last one that's coming out. So there's 10 of them. And they're each around an hour long. Oh, okay. So it's an hour, nice. Hour long episodes, I'm, I'm a fan of. Yeah, so it's nice because you don't have to watch them. All. I mean, now you could watch them basically all at once. But I was watching as it went. Mm -hmm. So, like, one a week, it gives you something to look forward to. But then at the same time, like, you can't binge it. Yeah, that is true. You're not, yeah. Well, never say you can't binge it. (laughs) You could now. You give me a Saturday off where I'm just like, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to binge it now just to challenge accepted. (laughs) Challenge accepted. I'll binge that ish. But it's good. It's a recommendation. I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never binged (laughs) crazy amounts of hour episodes. Because we all have. It's the life we live. You have a you have a, a day off and you just you just go at it. I'm gonna sit there and do nothing. It's honestly I I was just thinking about this the, the other day. This is a that it's honestly similar to like a drug. It is because like uh, like I used to I used to uh, smoke weed <laughs> <laughs> and you just like you know you like just sit back and just kind of zone out and it would like take the stress away. You wouldn't be thinking about like anything else. Yep. That's what we're doing with TV. We're like, I just want to sit down, not think about anything, but this it's media. It's very addictive. Yeah. Very addictive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of scary because you don't realize it. But it is. But I think it's... I'm, I, that's an addiction I'll never stop. No matter no. how bad they say it is. No. Um, I'm in it. I'm I heard... watch TV and movies until I die. I'm not sure I read something about Netflix doing something where... It wouldn't. They wouldn't put out all episodes at once anymore, and maybe that's to fight that kind of. That's all right. That's smart because, like, I finished the new Peaky Blinders in a day. Yep. Because they dropped all the episodes. Yeah. And I'm like, why do they do that? I'm kind of like, but then it's gonna be a week. You have to wait. It'll a be week a week. Uh. That's like Stranger Things. When Stranger Things comes out, everyone binges the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And it kind of it kind of sucks. Because then on Twitter, they're ruining the whole entire show for you. Exactly. Instead of just, like, maybe an episode. So I learned after, like, season two, like, when this, the mm-hmm. season three came out, that not to look anywhere. 
No. Because everything is going to be everywhere yeah, the be second it comes out. Mm -hmm. If you see, like, neon lights or anything kind of eerie, you're just like, that could be strange. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I feel you on that one for sure. Um. Oh, yeah, so how we started this, uh, Robert Pattinson is playing new Batman. Zoe Kravitz, which is, she's a dope actress, is playing Catwoman, which reminds me of, like, the Halle Berry Catwoman, if you ever saw that I Batman. I did. And I think Halle Berry got really weird with that, where she was, like, physically acting like a cat yeah and she was like licking very hands. seductive yeah it was like yeah it was weirdly attractive it was but like you yeah like, you i shouldn't be attracted to this <laughs> but i am yeah, yeah you're, you're like, pretend you're literally like, pretending to be a cat yeah, yeah it, it got weird but it was also good it's like iconic but so i could see it being like that but hopefully she doesn't go for the whole like where she's actually meowing at, at other people <laughs> Uh, but I think she could be a really good Catwoman, and it could be a really cool Batman movie. Also, Jonah Hill is rumored to be starring into it, and it's just like, what other bad guy could he be then? The Penguin, of course. But that's it's interesting though to see if him. Somebody else, it, yeah, I would still, I would still Jonah Hill, huge fan. Of huge Batman. fan. Yeah. To see him play that type of role though would be cool. Yeah. Because he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't do a lot of that. No, no, he does not. You are right. He's not. Yeah, not much superhero action. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I mean, he was in a movie called, like, War Dogs, which War is Dogs, semi action, yeah. but not really. No. Yeah, not an action packed movie. But yeah, no, I'm excited. And then, shoot, what did we say that guy's name was? It's, I already it's forgot. It's still in my browser. He looks like the Riddler, though. He looks like the Riddler. Paul Dano. He's from uh, The Girl Next Door and Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, so, uh,. He seems like Google Paul Dano, and you'll see. You just look at him, and you're like, that looks like somebody who'd be the Riddler. Looks just, he looks like the real-life version of him. This seems like a really cool Batman movie with multiple villains because we don't see too many multiple villains. It's usually just one bad yeah. guy at a time, but I don't know. Maybe they'll span it out over, like, three movies or something like that. I'm sure they will. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know Hollywood. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Disney Plus is yes. coming out soon. I was super against it when they announced it. I was like, why are you doing that? Like, let's just keep it. Again, back to, like, social media should all be in one package thing. Same with streaming services should just be, like... But that's, I guess, television. But you know what I mean? Like, It's going to become more like television again. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get all provider. these different things. Mm -hmm. The prices are, are going up. Oh, but yeah. it looks super cool because, like... You don't realize how many movies Disney has until that you saw what they were gonna have on there, and you're like, "Oh, wow! I might, I might actually want to get this." Yeah, but the the problem I have with it is they're gonna pull all the shows, so it's like from Netflix or something like that. You got on Hulu, I believe you have the Sweet Life mm -hmm. classic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want to watch a little Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Zach and Cody. They have Sweet Life on deck on there. Brings wow. me back to my childhood. <laughs> That's all going to be gone flashbacks. now. Flashbacks, yeah, that's pretty tough, but yeah, yeah, and but it's like I don't know. It seems cool. I I was contemplating getting it, but like ultimately, I'm not going to want to pay for that. So no, we'll see what happens. Maybe some company will come out with like a we'll give you a deal on like Netflix, Hulu, and that would be smart. That would be, but like you'd have to get Hulu, Netflix, and Disney Plus all agree to that, yeah, and find a way for them to make more money than I don't know. Yeah, that'd be tough. Mm -hmm. But it looks cool. They have a new original series called The Mandalorian about uh, Boba Fett. No, is it Boba Fett? The, the bounty hunter in the Star Wars okay. movies. The, it's like a, a show about him. So it's, Really? Yeah. So it seems like pretty cool just to look into like the Star Wars universe of just like what a bounty hunter would be doing. So that looks dope. That's probably the whole reason I would buy that, but I might be able to find it online for free. You'd probably find it online for free. That is a huge thing that people don't utilize. No, a lot of people don't realize that you can do that. Mm -hmm. But also then you get like this sketchy quality or it's like stops and buffers. Yeah. It's, it's brutal. Do you, do you ever use uh, popcorn time? Popcorn time? Yeah. Mm -mm. That was the classic. Really? He went on, it was all, but it messed my computer up. Oh, yeah, those, it was, those will do that. I at use... first, it was fine. Mm -hmm. And then the more you use it, it just starts mm -hmm. coming up with viruses, and it's it's a mess. Mm -hmm. I try not to use 
one specific site. Like, I just Google the movie, and then I put, like, free movie, full or full movie free online after, after yeah. the movie title. And it usually comes out to, like, put Locker, one, two, three, movie. But now, obviously, the FBI is obviously watching this podcast, so they're going to find So we don't, we actually, we've never used these I, things. What's... I've it's never, my computer doesn't have any of that. So, there's no way to get free movies. No, there, it's, I don't think so. you have to pay for everything in this world. Nothing comes for free. Yeah. Use that as a lesson. And also, you follow the rules as a citizen of these <laughs> Americas. <laughs> <laughs> People don't say these Americas enough. No, I, I feel like that's a I very you <laughs> thing, though. I would, uh, yeah, I use it pretty frequently. I feel, I feel I'm. Or, like, these United States. Yeah. I could just see, like, your long body walking into a room just full of people and being, like, these Americas. Somebody's trying to take my liberties away from me. <laughs> you can't do that in these United States. In these Americas. In these Americas. America. America. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. We did a movie suggestion. Well, we both did shows. Yes. A curveball for you. Uh, so I wanted to suggest a song, and I'm doing this completely out of order. I should probably do these at the end of the podcast, but whatever. We roll, uh, by the tip of our, by the seat of our pants. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say by, by the, the tip, tip of, of our, of our... <laughs> The tip of our skis or something. I tip don't of our skis. The tip of our skis. Tip, I, I snowboard. I don't ski, so. I snowboard as well, so. So tip of our snowboards. Mm, I don't snowboard that frequently. I haven't gone in years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but I snowboard. I haven't, haven't done it since, like, high school, but I, I I went on the bunny hill a few times, <laughs> so I consider myself a snowboarder. Mm-hmm. It's an expensive hobby. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> And that's all we've got to say about that. <laughs> um, oh, let's keep the movie conversation rolling, I guess. There's this really cool movie called Free Guy Movie. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is starring in it, which so it's going to be a comedy. Uh, gotta love Ryan Reynolds. He killed it with Deadpool, so I assume he's going to kill with this. All right, so uh, in video games, there are those characters that are just there. You know, they're they're not playable characters they're like the computer i saw this i saw this yeah they're like the the unplayable characters so he realizes that he's in a video game and that he's an unplayable character the ais yeah he realizes that's what it is ai it. yeah yeah so he realizes that and I, it's a comedy about that i saw that 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 looks good that looks i good. want to see that, that yeah that i'll go to theaters really interesting all i will yeah i would see that in theaters for sure um and then there's, I think my friend was telling me about this movie called Home Alone High. And it's like, take the Home Alone premise, but it's a older dude who like misses his flight. And so he's like, all right, well, I guess I'll just stay home this Christmas and get high. And he's like on the couch getting baked and then like two people try and rob him. And I guess he's just like running around, like <laughs> getting chased by them and shit. So. Only America. Only America it's would like... spin that off of that. <laughs> I, I, I want to see it. I'd watch it. I'd, it's like a Harold and Kumar. Like it's a bad movie, yeah. but it's gonna be. Those good. were Harold and Kumar. That, those were good times. Those were classic. Yeah, and and I think they like after like there was like a, a five or eight year span, and then they came out with a third Harold and Kumar. Yes. And I was like, come on, what are you doing? Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll watch it. But fine, I'll watch it. <laughs> I'm not gonna not watch not, it. Not not gonna watch. I it. feel like they made White Castle relevant again. One hundred percent. Like White, White Castle was done. But once you hear about White Mana. Oh, the place in... Uh, yeah, yeah. I've only had it, like, once. I don't think I've had it yet. You haven't had... I assumed you would have had it. No, because I always got I always got screwed out of it. It would be like I left right before they got it, mm-hmm. or they'd get it, and then i come. They came back, and they're, like, taking the last bite of yeah. the burger. <laughs> yeah, uh, so White Mana, if you don't know, is, like, basically White Castle, but, like, for some reason, ten times better. Like, I ate that, like, out of the fridge cold, and it was still better than white castle i think it's real that's why it might be yeah i think it's and they probably use like a certain kind of bread because mana means bread so i think it's in the bread that's good that was good knowledge (laughs) (laughs) what language is that uh hebrew i think hebrew i think it's in the bible like when they say oh mana mind your manas (laughs) mind (laughs) mind your bread (laughs) mind your bread Mind your bread. I'm a, I'll say that to people now, especially at the dinner table. Somebody curses at the dinner. Mind your bread. 
you, get, you have like kids when you're older and no, like they're please, misbehaving, nobody. they're on their phone, and they're like, mind your bread. Nobody's going to get that joke. <laughs> no. Nope. That's a dad joke right there. That's a big dad joke. I'm an avid fan of those. I feel like I'm becoming more of a of a dad when it comes to jokes. All right, just for humor. Okay. No, not a, no, yeah, no. Definitely not an actual dad. <laughs> I was like, oh, congratulations. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would not be congratulations. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wanted to absolutely shit all over AM radio on this episode. Yeah, that's... What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and who listens who's, to it? Who's listening? It's got it. It's just old people, I believe, right? But what's on it? I don't know. Like, I've, never, I've never clicked on it. I've never tuned it. in. I've never, I've never done it. it. I'm going to do it on my way home. All right, so I was, li- I was leaving my friend's place. We watched the first inning of the Yankees game, and I was like, does anybody know the radio station? For, and they were like, oh, AM, it's like 666.1, <laughs> and FM, it's like 101.9. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, why did you give me the AM option? <laughs> I was like, I'm not tuning in to AM. I was like, is it still a thing? Why is it still going? I don't, because AM is what, at, after morning? A, at morning. Is that what it is? I, don't, I didn't know that's what no, it's that's, for. that's for clocks. AM and PM is at more. Oh, you're talking about for clocks. No. <laughs> We're talking you're about You're talking about for the radio. Yeah, I don't know what it means for radio, but for clocks, AM means at morning. So for the radio, it might mean... I hope they can't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but It's a lot going on. Know, what, is he leaf people, blowing? Yeah, sometimes people got a leaf blow, and they're not going to wait around for me to finish my podcast. We just had that storm. A lot of leaves. Big storm here. Big storm Did you lose here. power at all? I didn't. I heard people did. I lost power three days I was losing power. I might have been... Well, what time did you lose power? I, I, the first time... Wait, I was, three days? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, so you've I had was, a rough week. Yeah. <laughs> so I was playing I was playing some Fortnite, some late night Fortnite. Mm-hmm. New season just came out. Mm-hmm. And my power goes out. It goes back on right away. So I'm like, all right, weird. Just mm-hmm. turn right on and off. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, whatever. So I go back on playing a little more goes off again so at this point it's late i'm, I'm going to bed it's probably 1 32 in the morning the, if i'm if i if, if it, the sun is down and the power goes off i'm just like i'm going to bed i was i was thinking about it but i also was just really in the mood to play support oh, okay. so i did it when so you're in the mood, when you got an itch when you got a scratch no when you got an itch you got a scratch there it is so <laughs> <laughs> so so it goes off again i go to bed the next day it's going on and off all day. All day it's going on and off. And we're looking. There's only like 31 houses in, in the township mm-hmm. that, are, that have township. lost power. Oh, that's obnoxious. So that's, that's terrible. Well, and I'm one of them. We didn't, we didn't. Oh, I just said where I live. Now people are going to find me. Uh, <laughs> mountain. Uh, mountain Sakes. Mountain Cakes. <laughs> that's, yeah, I didn't lose, but I might have been in bed. What time did you say it was? Sorry. It had to be 1.30 or 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was in bed. Yeah. Because I had... I had work in the morning, so I was like, I think I was in bed by nine o'clock. So, uh, so you're on that grind. That on on a few days of the week, I have to go to bed at nine o'clock. Yeah, because I work, and then on days where I have school, I'm like, ah, it's class. Well, that's just yeah, class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there like a zombie dead in class. <laughs> um, uh, blue blue light glasses. Yes. So we we still haven't figured out what AM radio is. Oh, whatever. Uh, no, we'll never figure it we'll out. So there's no out. point. But I guess I'll just say let's start the petition or let's start the trend. You know, delete AM radio. I want it. Deleting Facebook. I want it out of my car. <laughs> I don't want that button. I don't want to look at it. I don't. Makes because I'm hardly using FM as it is. I use my aux. Yeah. I, I have an aux, but I wanted to tune into the Yankees game, which if you've never listened to a baseball game on a radio in a car. That's just like such a nostalgic thing. You're just it like, really wow. is. Wow, you're like this is awesome. You're like this is what my great grandparents did next to the radio. Just sit around and after, listen to after the radio. A tough game of kick the can. <laughs> <laughs> a brutal loss. <laughs> and kick the can. And just sit down uh, at AM radio <laughs> and listen to. Uh, Do you think it was even called AM then? I don't know. I doubt they even had FM. I doubt that. I doubt. Yeah, I doubt they were specifying. They were still using knobs. To Little Sinatra things. on there. Mm-hmm. They would accidentally oh, put that on instead of the Yankee game. Mm-hmm. New York. Oh, oh. <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So down with AM radio, pretty much. We're starting it here. This is where it started. If we ever do get it deleted, we want it. This is the cancel culture that we're living in. Cancel culture. Cancel. So AM radio. so hashtag AM radio 
is canceled. It's started on Twitter. We want it trending. It Top is, of the page. It's been written. It's been spoken. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. What did I just say? The the blue light. Yeah, all right, so the first, all right, so when I Googled it, there was, like, there's no scientific evidence to support that uh, it does anything for you, or it stops any blue light from getting to your eyes, and I was just like, why are we using this then? <laughs> I guess a lot of a lot of streamers that play video games, they use them, uh-huh. and I've seen them with them on. They look like they're they're getting ready to, like, go to war. They said it definitely can't hurt you, <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> Is that why we're buying things? It, it's it's worse for you, actually. <laughs> They're like, it definitely can't hurt you, but it 100% won't help you. And I'm like, why the heck are we... Uh... So I guess a lot of them use them. Mm-hmm. But I didn't do that much research. Maybe so. they get sponsored by these companies. Oh. That might be a thing. Because I've been... Because I'm a, I'm a graphic design artist. So I, I spend a lot of time looking at the computer and I'm like, maybe I should get those, but... That was just the first thing that pops up. It wasn't even, I didn't even read the article. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, you know, that little paragraph. They're, they're like yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Because it looks like they're about to either, they're going outside to blow the leaves on a fall day like mm-hmm. today, or mm-hmm. they're they're getting ready to go to war, mm-hmm. is what it looks well, like to look me. they look like fake glasses, to be honest. Yeah. You're just like, okay. But like, also, it's a swaggy look. I've always wanted glasses, but. I want like, I want those clear ones. That are that a lot of old people wear now. Oh. They're like the trendy old people. Really? They're just clear. Everything's clear. See through everything. Yeah. Cool. I want maybe like little round ones. There you go. Get oh, my like old man a, swag on. What's his? What's that Beatles name? John oh, Lennon. Yeah. Get that John Lennon see through look going, or that cat from that album. Oh, what? Is it a Nirvana? No, it's not a Nirvana album. You know the cat with the. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking glasses. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like everybody's background in middle school yeah oh, i'm trying to remember that band super annoying oh it might have been oh, what's that song viva la vida by mm, whatever yeah you, you lost me on this one <laughs> uh speaking of cavalry choirs are singing you know oh oh uh that by coldplay coldplay that's it that's what it is i wasn't gonna let that go <laughs> i think it's i think it's a coldplay album all right go ahead what so uh say? speaking of of music mm-hmm. i actually just went to a concert the other night i went to uh post malone and M- msg Jealous. oh yeah seats good or good seats wow they better be for the price i spent on them oh yeah, I bet. 220. Yeah, that MSG. Oh, 220. My. Oh, my. Yeah. That one hurt. Flex on him. Flex on him. 220 for You're a ticket. Flexing for the cast. 220. Oh, shoot. It's not recording. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. There's so, be a uh. Lot of cutting in and out on the, YouTube, yeah. <laughs> on the YouTube video, but it is what it is. We make do. So, um, I went to Post Malone. He, they had just had Rolling Loud the day before. So yeah, my friends went to Rolling Loud. I wanted to go to that. that was I would have rather lineup. spent two twenty on Rolling Loud. Sick lineup this year. Yeah, I'm right. a big Uzi guy. Little Uzi. Oh, big Uzi vert. Yeah, big on Sounds little like Uzi Lucifer. vert. Lucifer. I don't know if you ever yep. saw that. So but, he's uh, the devil, so I don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I went, and it, Rolling Loud was the night before, so I got lucky because everyone was in New York, all the artists. Mm-hmm. So you got oh, so he brought on a bunch of people. So we had it was Tyler. Yahweh open mm, for him. That's dope. That's uh, I don't know if you know who he is. I've heard of Yahweh. I've heard some yeah. So he's Yahweh. I like him. He was okay. cool. He's he opens for him anyways. Okay. Then we had Sway Lee. Nice. Sway Lee was I good. Hate, I want it to be Swale. Swale. It sounds better. It's just ten times better. Yeah. But I guess that's that kind of guy. And where's Slim Jimmy? Where is? Where's the other half of Ray Shremerd? Where is? Ray Shremerd. Ray. Yeah. What is going on <laughs> with those names? Uh. Ear drummers. Yeah. What did he do? What? They, I don't just like you know what I'm good. He's like I made my millions. I don't know. Like where'd he go? Maybe he was just feeling left out because Sway Lee got all the. Just, he got all the hype. I follow yeah. Sway Lee on Twitter. I don't follow Slim Jim on 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 Twitter. You should probably you all. should follow him after this. Now I'm gonna because I feel bad. You're getting the pity. For I him. feel bad for him. <laughs> I feel yeah. I would hate to be that guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sucks. Like if. If this podcast blew up and you came on every episode and then all of a sudden you got all the credit, I would have been like, 
you'd, you'd probably be a little upset. <laughs> you well, started okay. it. Because <laughs> well, you started I it. I put in the work. <laughs> <laughs> I do everything here. Okay. He just sits there and talks. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so we had Swaley. Um, Tyler Yahweh brought out MGK. All right. That was cool. That's pretty cool. Brought out MGK. The baby came out. I mean, but it was seriously on the real, like, screw MGK. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just because he's, like, of him. <laughs> Whoa, man. What's going on? What do you got against MGK? <laughs> it's like, all right, well, he did have, like, some good songs, but most of his songs are trash. He only got really big because of that Eminem beef. And then also just, like, the way he looks and the way he... I don't know. I don't know his history. I don't know him. He had that one song that was huge. The the one with the, uh, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call yeah, me Steve-O. Yeah, yeah, that one was... That blew thing. up. And then I didn't hear from him for... Mm-hmm. This Eminem thing revived his career. 100%. Which was a smart move by him. But, yeah, and then I just, like, I don't know. I look at him and I'm just, like, oh, everything about you I don't like. <laughs> but, honestly, if I met him, I would apologize for everything I'm saying. And I'm sure he's a really cool guy, but... On the low and the high at the same time. I mean, smart career move though. He, uh, Beefing on Eminem, you know, it, the yeah. biggest, the biggest white rapper. You gotta go for it. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a business. It is. And he played, he played the business. I'm sure someone gave him some, some tips, some tips on that. <laughs> Can't hate the player. They're like, you know what? Just how about you start beef with Eminem? He's like, I haven't had a hit in years. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's it, he's the first words out of his mouth. Start I beef. <laughs> Start beef with Eminem, you'll have a hit. <laughs> Which, by the way, his diss track wasn't good. I don't I, know if you listened I to it. it. Was pretty good. Really? I thought I thought he. I, I think the second one he put out, I was like, oh shit, Eminem might lose this. I thought the the music video was very corny. Oh yeah, well that's like again, like yeah. It's He's just, walking around with like a shovel and a chain. Man. It's like his whole aesthetic is just rough. It's it's really, weird. It's it's brutal, and then he acts too. Which is, like, you know, fine, you know, like, I would love to be an actor if, if I, you know, I got famous and I could act, I would, I would act. He was good in The Dirt. The Dirt. The, dirt. the Molly Crew oh, movie? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Tommy movie. Tommy Lee? Yeah, but that movie was fake. What do you mean? Like, they just completely changed every story. Oh, absolutely. It was so brutal. Oh, absolutely. Like, like 50% of it didn't happen. And yeah, no. like, oh, well, that's upsetting. Because I walked away like, wow, Molly Crew is sick. And then it was like, no, none of that happened. I like, <laughs> A lot of it happened. I walked but... away, I like, throw my AirPods in and just start blasting Molly Crew. I'm like, this is, this is rock star. Yeah, yeah. Like, they were true rock stars. They said that, like, they, they opened up their first gig with, like, a brawl and then got back on stage and That's... kept going. That didn't happen. Really? It didn't happen. That ruined it all for they me. just had a normal gig, a normal start where people were like, okay, I'm kind of So they weren't, here. like, good. bashing guitars and, like, punching people? No. And then getting back up I on stage? I mean, st- I'm sure in later gigs they might have had a few brawls here and there, but on their first gig it did not, like, you have to respect us because we just beat the crap out of all these people. I love, like, the... And why would people like you after you just beat the crap out of them? They're like, like the... oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is this is great. Yeah, that's obnoxious. I love, like, the, the pause, though, and, like, the movies where, like, they get back up on the stage, they're all, like, standing there, they're like... <laughs> and then everyone's like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, like, that, like that happens in life. <laughs> like... That, like, brings me back to... Uh, that that Jay Z line, one of the songs. He's like, this ain't a movie, dog. <laughs> Kinda sound like him. I think about that all the, that line. I'm like, where I'm like wishing something would happen that I've only seen happen in movies, and I'm like, this ain't a movie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I want a soundboard in this podcast at some point in the future, so I can just have like. That's a great move. Hit the hit the Chris D'Elia does in his podcast, and it's pretty dope. But uh, I don't think he utilizes it. Enough. Well, now I'm just starting beef with Chris D'Elia, which Don't is, do that. Let's which not do was that. not my intent. Chris, Chris D'Elia, you're the man. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, and now we're going to get off that topic. <laughs> were, were we finishing something else, saying something about that or not? I, I, I don't know how we got there. I'm going to be honest. It's, it's good conversation. It's, it just flows yeah, it just down happens. the river. It happens. Uh, yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this is, uh, you know, I don't have in my notes over here. <laughs> Uh, what were we even talking about? Blue blocker glasses. We were still on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to the Motley Crue movie. So they don't do anything for oh, you. Oh, we were talking about the Post Malone concert. Post Malone concert. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, he brought out MGK. Fuck MGK, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, he's a great guy. MGK, we love you. Uh, 
<laughs> so, we, so we brought out MGK. Uh, the baby came out. Oh, word. Yeah. That's sick. That was, I was That's shocked. Sick. At this point, I was getting a little, a little, a little faded at the concert. I was, I was fading out a little bit. Okay. Just drinking some IPAs. Mm. <laughs> They're hitting some tall boys. I hope that Post Malone's up there on stage just sipping an IPA. Not. Bud Light only. It's like, purp- what is it, purple? Purple drink? You think he sips lean? I don't think he sips lean. I assume. <laughs> He's got face tattoos and grills. <laughs> seems like He seems like he just drinks Bud Light all yeah, the time. Just, he's on the Bud Light can, yeah. which is sick. I want that can. I want it in my room. Was it only for that concert? Were they at that concert? Was it only for that concert? Or is that a normal thing? Honestly, I should have gotten a Bud Light. I saw it all over Instagram because I guess more people went to that concert and I didn't realize they were at that concert, but it was just his face on the Bud Light can. So they had him there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck. So how was the the concert? Oh, wait, the baby. So the baby came out. Um, who else? Who else? ASAP Ferg. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I've seen him before actually, oh, really? but it was yeah. I saw him at a PNC. Okay. But yeah, he was. That was cool. That's a very certain type concert. Like a lot of people might not know a lot of those people or like a lot of those people. That's very, yeah. That's, that's very mainstream. Very so mainstream. Fun. But yeah, the baby's new album was pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, if you Kirk. To it, I did. It was pretty good. Had a few bangers on there. It did. Yeah, I like the baby. Yeah, it's got okay. a good flow. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, they're all super cocky. They're saying like, like I think the baby was just quoted recently saying like, he's got like Jesus's flow, God's cadence, and and like the Holy Spirit's production no, or something. No. It was like that's not it at all. But like it was similar to that where he like referenced being similar to Jesus or something of rap. And I was just like, you have to. Ch-. I guess that's the mindset you gotta have because like uh, professional athletes have to assume they're the best professional athlete. But you gotta involve like Jesus in it. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Like, why don't you just say I'm? Um, Maybe I should. Should I get the the direct? Quote? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it so we're not we're not messing yeah. it up here. You gotta keep talking because I don't want to just be silently searching through Instagram. So yeah, I mean it was. <laughs> no <laughs> so pressure. yeah. No so pressure. yeah. Anyways, uh, no. So it was good though. Concert was good. He Post Malone is great live. Mm-hmm. He really is. The guys. He, uh, I was wondering that because he's you know I wonder if he's actually a good singer live or. No, he's good. Mm-hmm. He's good. Sway Lee was good too. Surprisingly. Yeah. He's got a good voice. Plus, I th- I think I enjoy his personality. Yeah, he was a he was a very good performer. Okay. Like he was he put a show on, yet. and he played a he played an unreleased song, that was cool. Okay. It was uh, I don't remember at this point. I'm gonna be honest. I a new song did you say? Yeah. Uh, oh, like he released not, a new one. Not released yet. Wow. Performed that'd be it. Cool. But I that slips my mind a lot. It it's, his voice is all sounds the same on the songs. But uh. Yeah, overall, good concert. Good time. Here it is. I got the create... Oh, okay. Didn't... Oh, no. Okay, he did reference, like, God, but not in the way I thought. All right. He said, I got the... Oh, jeez. I got the creativity (laughs) of Kanye. Okay. The consistency of Lil Wayne and the versatility of Drake. I'm God's work, bro. And I was like, I don't know if any of that is true. (laughs) Especially the Drake. I've never heard him. What can he sing? Is that what he's trying to say? Like Drake? I, the versatility? Yeah, I guess. Because I don't think like he's. It doesn't really seem versatile. like he's versatile. And I got the creativity of Kanye. Kanye makes the best beats, pretty much. Yeah. Does, it, does he produce all of his own beats to Baby? Doubt it. Doubt. Doubtful. Very doubtful. At least not yet. Maybe he's trying to get into it. It's a pretty bold move. And then the consistency of Lil Wayne, I guess. Okay, sure. <laughs> you can't say. You can't. He can't say that yet, though. No. Yeah, he hasn't like, been consistent. Why go be your own thing? Yeah, that too. But I guess I guess I get it's a good mindset to have. Yeah, you got it, right? It's talking about the best of the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't... I don't know. The the, ver- the versatile thing's getting to me. Yeah. Because I've never heard him do anything other than his... It's his, like that same thing. It's the same it. flow. He just released pretty much two of the same album, but... Yeah. Obviously different, and I like the different songs, yeah. but relatively the same But style. they're very similar. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But that's why I like them. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, Post Malone, his two albums that he released were exactly the same, but I love that Post Malone style and that Post Malone yeah. sound, so... The new one was different, though. It was a little bit different, It was. It was less... 
Oh, yeah, the new, new one. All right, so he yeah. has three albums. So he's right, got so the, three. The first two were, like, pretty much the same. So he had the same thing. Stoney, mm-hmm. Beer Bongs and Bentleys, mm-hmm. and then this one, Hollywood's Bleeding. Mm-hmm. That one was really cool, actually. This one was a lot different. I need to re-listen to that. He put Ozzy on it. That was a sick song. Yeah. I don't know if you liked it or not. I don't mind it. Okay. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's... not the biggest. Don't feel you have to like it. You can dislike it. No, no, no. It it's, not, sure. it's not that I, I dislike it. I just, I find it a little weird having Ozzy on the, on the song, but at the same time, like, that's, that's a pretty rock star move. And I th- honestly, I loved it, to be honest. I like that, I, at first, it grew on me a little bit, because at first I was like, you at can't put, like, huh. you can't put Ozzy and Travis Scott in the same song. But he's literally destroying genres. Yeah. That's what Posty Oh, absolutely. Was, and that's awesome. No, that, that is awesome. Big fan of Posty, for sure. He's a Plus, great he's guy. Great personality as well. And yeah. Other, like on social media, you always just see him having like a great time. Supposedly, he's an abs- like absolutely the nicest guy too. That's great. Yeah. I love it. He's got some of that Texas hospitality. He lives in Utah now. Utah. Yeah, he, he moved. From he Houston, moved out of right? L.A. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's from Houston, I yeah, believe. I think or LA, no, Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think he. I think L.A. is a terrible place to live once you're famous. Once honest. you're famous, because you're surrounded by just like the most pretentious and terrible people. Yeah. I think he realized that, and he got right out of there. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of, I mean... And Utah is a beautiful place. I would go to, like, a scenic place. Like, that's where I'd live. Yeah. And then, like, to go do business, I'm flying my private He's jet, got the money. He's bro. got the... He's bags. flying over there. He's got there. bags, for sure. That sounds like a fun concert. <laughs> 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 Just to wrap up that segment. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I might take out... I might just... I have just subconsciously taken out that Robert Downey Jr. thing. Um, but, all right, so me and my friends were at a bar last night. You know it as Johnny's. It's a real townie bar. Real, That's the real, townie like, bar. The townie dive bar. Like, But we went there to just watch the Yankees game and like talk and have a few beers, just kind of relax. Um, and my friends were like, yeah, uh, we'll just like, we'll just figure out a way home. So like me and my three friends, like I got a ride with my friend. And our other two friends were like, no, we'll just, we'll, we'll figure out a way home. And like, I feel like back in the day that used to like, be like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to walk home? Like, yeah. Figuring it out was really like tough. And nowadays it's like Uber. Just take <laughs> your like, phone out, call an Uber. That, why not just say you're going to Uber? So he said, I'm getting a ride home. He didn't say he was Ubering. No, he said, we'll figure out a way home. Oh. Uh. We'll figure it out. And I was like, when I heard that, I was like, oh, that could mean a lot of things. And then I was like, wait, like, no, that can't. I was like, he's just going to Uber home. So I like getting in your head <laughs> about the, it. Yeah. I like, it shook me to my core. <laughs> or like, you know, you can just call a sibling on a cell phone. You, like, you used to have to find a pay phone or use the bar's phone or something. But see, I, I feel know. like even that's becoming obsolete. Because it's like, no one, like, the, you call your sibling and they're going to be like, just get an Uber. Facts. Terrible sibling. <laughs> Bad sibling. I don't know. Actually, your your sibling came through one time and, and gave you and... Uh, That's true. At a, at a late night and, and came and gave you guys a ride. That so is true. Siblings come through. That's it, one thing that our culture hasn't lost is, is family. Yeah. Which I, I like. You got to you gotta love your family. I mean, it's changed. The family view has definitely changed. Like, it's not your happy, hunky-dory, you know, stay-at-home mom and all that. But yeah, it's different. It's still valued, which yeah. I like. Because family's good for sure. Um, you only got one of them. You only get one unless you have two. Because <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't have two. Well, that's... Yeah, I mean... I guess I kind of have two. You t- you kind of do have two. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely have one. But, like, <laughs> you could be, like, a terrible husband and go and get another. You know, there are those guys in those movies. This ain't a movie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> There are those guys in the in the movies who like just have a separate family. Oh, like they oh like they, they leave their se- family. They have a secret family. No, they're still living with both families. They travel from that happens. Lot. Yeah, and they just start up another. family. They have another family. Get a little startup over here. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. I hope I like to think that people aren't like that, but people are. Oh, like there's that. definitely people like that. People are like that. Um. The last topic I have on here is <coughs> a rise and shine <laughs> uh, by, uh, is it Kylie or Kendall? It's Kylie. It's Kylie for sure. Um, so that came from, I guess she was giving a tour of her whole 
her whole like office of where she does all of her business, where she makes her billions. Was it was it was it home or was it at an office? In like a, an office, office. So she has a, a crib for her daughter at her office. A separate room. I guess you kind of have to. When you're a, a 21 year old billionaire. Yeah. Single mom. <laughs> uh, all right. One, the office was just like so empty. And like it looked like nothing got done there at like ever. Like they had just built that office. And I was like, you don't do anything here. Like there's no way. Again, I don't know her. You see the guys like in the background, like rolling in the front of her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like just hammering the last nail. He's like, done. <laughs> The wall, the wall like, like falls Rise over. And shine. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then she has a a champagne vending machine. Why? You're gonna have. To, so she paid for a vending machine. She paid them to put champagne in it, and then she has to. And that's 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 I guess maxed out on the video. Which All right, is okay so we're on the end of the video because we're we're wrapping up here. So yep. it's okay that we've we've finished. I could give it a go. You want me to go over there and fiddle with it? No, nah, we should be fine. Okay. Let's just finish it off. I mean, off. it's blank. It's, the camera's gone. Yeah, no, let's finish it off with uh, audio only. Audio only. How it should be on a podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I was just like, why do you... I don't know, it didn't seem... And then, I guess we said earlier, why do people care about this? Why do people care so much about what mm-hmm. the Kardashians and Jenners do? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. I mean, we're sitting here talking about it. But we're talking about why people yeah, care that is true i'm not i don't go my free time and yeah. say i wonder what kylie's doing today mm-hmm. and like imagine like that lifestyle of like where you just all right you walk into a room you know you're going to you know wake up your child and you sing like a little something silly yeah. and it gets turned into a meme and billions millions of people i mean it was it was pretty brutal i'm gonna be honest it was a bad singing job because but... what did she what did she say before she's like this is awkward and then she like opens the door and she walks in and she's like, rise and shine. <laughs> and then she, but she made fun of herself. Did you see that? Oh, she did. She posted on Instagram a picture of her, like it was her face in the middle of a sun. Oh, oh. So okay, like, so like rise right. and shine. So well, she made fun of it. she's going to literally make a children's book for her child to grow up on. A hundred percent. And she's going to make so much money off that too. She needs more because she needs more. Oh, always. She, she's she's only a twenty one year old the rich billionaire. Get richer. Uh, yeah, and then um, uh, I don't. I was. I had something else to say on that topic of of her in that lifestyle and being. That just sucks. She doesn't know what real life is. No, she never has. Brutal. I mean, well, maybe when she was a kid for a little Even bit, and then she was on the Kardashians TV show. But maybe it wasn't. When did that come out? Because I'm sure there was a time where, were they rich before that? Mm-hmm. Their dad was a lawyer. Well, he was, yeah, he was OJ's lawyer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Which OJ's best friend. because of that, like, reenactment <laughs> thing that came out. Basically. We're, we're cultured. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the camera. It's not even going. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, I, I, they don't have a concept of reality, mm-hmm. I, I'd assume. No, no, they, they can't. It's just impossible. And I understand... Her saying she's like a self earned billionaire. Mm-hmm. No, but are but are you really? No. <laughs> are you really? No. Because sure, it may have been your own cut, mm-hmm. but that's a TV show that your family did. Yeah, like it's not self made. You just yeah, uh, you just happen to grow up and become hot through a numerous amounts of surgery. <laughs> she claims she had has not gotten any. Oh, none. No. That's well, it looks like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can it's just, tell. She works out a lot. Oh, okay. I think that's what it is. Oh, okay. So, okay. So that's what makes the, the butt cheek take a 90 degree angle yes. into the waist. And I think, I think her, maybe her boobs got bigger due to, I don't know, birth Muscle, control. Chest, a lot of, a <laughs> lot of bench. <laughs> that's uh, crazy that she still tries to claim that. Yeah, that's pretty insane. She said the only thing she's ever gotten done was she got lip fillers put in. Of course. That, the fact that any of them would try to claim that. It's crazy. Yeah. Maybe not Kendall. Maybe not Kendall. Because she's skinny. But still, even then, maybe Kendall. I just realized that we're sitting here talking about them. <laughs> we're, <laughs> just we're part of the problem. We're part of the problem. Yeah. Uh, and this It's is, hard not to. This is, the life we, this is the life we were brought up in. This is the life we live, you know? <laughs> oh, Judge man. us all you want, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It oddly dragged us in there. (laughs) 
We wanted, just like that. We wanted to <laughs> denounce people. That's what. So our intention is to be like, this is terrible that people are watching this, and then we and care about this, and then we go and care about it. Yep. Which is, I feel, the story of my life. Yeah. That's a I mean, lot of story topics. of our generation. Story really, story of our generation. It's like, yeah, we're not happy about it, but then we're also part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'd say with that note, we can we can wrap this thing up. Yep. Uh, this is uh, put it on episode three. Wait. Up. Hold up. Music. Oh yeah. Let's song go. suggestion. Oh shoot! You're right. You're right. So my song suggestion is uh, "Hi" <laughs> <laughs> by Young Thug. <laughs> Uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a new song. It's good. Samples Elton John. Phenomenal. Classic spinoff on some, some I, Elton. I love it. It's a guilty pleasure, to be honest, because yeah. I know a lot of people won't like it. I showed my dad it. He hated it. Yeah, it makes sense, but. I, I understand it. I understand the hate. Um, mine's gotta be Gucci Mane. Just came out with a new album. Spooky Season. Spooky it's, season. it's called Woptober. Wop. I think it's Woptober two. Woptober two. I think I it came out the last one last October. I don't like when rappers do the two, like a sequel to the album. Yeah. I'm like, like the Carter five. Come on, at I'm that like, point, there's five of them. I'm like, come up with a new name. He came out with an album though. Uh, song is called Move Me. Move Me. Gucci Mane. It's got kind of a spooky beat on it. Word. And we're all about spooky season here. Spooky season. It is spooky season. We're in October. It's chilly. People are blowing off. It's crisp. Leaves. It's. Cr- the That's air is the one. air is crisp. It's just crisp. Yes. It's a really crisp, spooky season out here. Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's cut it. <laughs> That's that's put it on podcast number three with my first guest, Josh Wright. Josh, thank you for coming. Of course. Thanks time. for having me. I hope everybody enjoyed. This is probably going to be a long episode, but whatever. I hope you enjoyed. If you watched till the end, thank you and uh, roll that music. <laughs>